What's going on YouTube? My name is Jeans, bringing you guys part 16 for my 100% playthrough on The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. As always, if you do enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. Also guys, follow me on Twitch at Jeans25 as I stream 4 plus days every single week. Link will be in the description below. So guys, in the last episode, we actually collected a bunch of different things. We got pieces of heart, seashells, a new figurine, which was the blooper figurine, which we placed inside this house. And we learned the last song, which is the Song of Soul, which we got with our ocarina. But guys, in this episode, we're actually going to be making our way up to the next dungeon. So first order of business, we want to head down to Taranba Shores, where everything started off, where we actually got our sword. That's crazy. This is exactly where we started off. But we're going to make our way all the way down here with our Pegasus boots. Look at us go. And we're going to hit that tree. Just like, nah, you don't have to hit that tree. But, you know, we're going to hit that tree because we can't run straight. But if we actually make our way over here, down onto the beach shoreline, you can see there's a little crack in this wall that we can bomb open. So we're going to bring out our bombs, drop it. We'll put these little crab fools first. Get out of my face. And we can blow up this wall. Actually make our way inside of here. So once we make it inside here, we got this like poochie pooch. Look at him. It's a dog over here. We're going to bring out any item. I'm just going to bring out the shovel for right now. And we're going to talk to this fool. His name is Goria. I found a good item washed up on the beach. I'll trade you. I'll trade it to you for what you have in your X or Y button. If you want to trade, press X or Y. If you don't want to trade, press B. Okay, we're going to trade our Y item, which will be our shovel. Okay, let's do it. If you, if you want the item, you trade it me again. Come back. So we traded him the shovel for the item that he found on the beach, which is the boomerang, which is just awesome. So if we actually come back, talk to him real quick, he says, I'll sell you your shovel back for 300 rupees. How does that sound? And we're like, yeah, let's do it. 300 rupees. That leaves us with four rupees. We are now like broke, but we got the shovel back with the boomerang. So it's basically like we were buying the boomerang, which is very, very cool. But we're just going to keep it out for right now because it is actually a very handy item. But look at this thing. Look, we can throw it at enemies and everything. It comes back. And it actually stuns enemies, I believe. Let's try hitting something. What you want, fools? Like, what's this fool want? Get out of here. Yes, it can stun him and all that, which is awesome. It kind of works as, like, the hook shot, but more for hitting items instead of just, like, grappling onto things, you know? It's pretty cool. Hey, Octorok, get out of here. But what we want to do now is actually make our way back to Mabe Village because there's actually something we need there in order to get the, the next key for the dungeon. So we make our way over here. We actually chop up the grass, grab all that. Pegasus boot run over here. I love the boomerang item. It's such a good item because you it's just a good item to throw around and all that. It's nice to have. But since we got that, the more powerful bracelet, we can actually move bigger things. So if we make our way back to this little the rooster in the beginning, let's talk to it real quick. It says here's Slee, it's a flying rooster. We can actually now push it away with the more powerful bracelet and unlock a secret path. Let's go. Let's go down there, baby. Let's go down there. Let's get this leads to a secret tunnel. And right here we got this like skull right here. This dead animal looking thing but if you guys do remember that song that we just got says it revives like dead things like it, it makes people feel more alive so if we actually bring it out bring it out and play it you guys will see exactly what will happen which is just awesome let's go let's get it look this spirit starts flying down from the sky and everything playing this cool tune <laughs> and it lands inside this dead carcass and lights up and it turns into a rooster let's go wow the rooster has recovered he seems very friendly oh cool we got a friendly rooster let's go come on buddy dude look he follows us now he is actually gonna help us out on our adventure which is just awesome let's go buddy look at him we're actually gonna need this rooster in order to obtain the key and get to the next dungeon so with all that done we actually want to switch out our songs back to Monbo's mambo so we can actually fast travel to the destination that we want to go we're actually going to head over to Dompe Shack. Where's that? Where's that? Right here. We're going to head to Dompe Shack so we can make our way up to the mountains once again. Let's go. Dude, the mountains are such like a cool area. I don't know. But did you guys see our map? Look at our map real quick. We have discovered everything on the map except for this. That is crazy. That is just crazy. But we're actually going to start making our way this way. Defeating all these piggies over here. What you want, fools? What you want? Get out of my face. We're going to throw these rocks all over the place. Breaking them up and start making our way up to the mountain. There we go. Let's go. Do I, which way do I want to go? I think I want to go this farther one right here. Yeah, this is where I want to go right here in order to get up to the mountains and make our way up here. Once we make our, our way up here, my boy comes out. The owl. <laughs> Look at him. He's so cool. Hoot, hoot. Your path is not easy, but you are almost there. Go east. The wind fish is getting restless. Thank you, Mr. Owl. <laughs> Look at our rooster down there. He's so cool. Come on, rooster. Get up here, buddy. We need you. So now what we want to do is throw out these rocks and make our way into this little cave right here. 
that we actually been in before. We actually been over here, I believe. Oh, we can whoop on these fools. Get out of my face. Oh, we almost fell in that hole. I was looking somewhere else. Come on, Mr. Rooster. Let's get some work done. Eee. No! Rooster, no. Okay, so we're gonna do we have Rock's feather out? Start slapping all that up. Make a path real quick and head over here. Dun, 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 dun. Dude, the rooster is so funny. He's just chilling there. Oh, it cracks me up. It cracks me up. Come on, buddy. Dude, I think we only have a couple more episodes left in this playthrough. It's, it's cr pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy. But we're gonna just rip on here and keep moving along here. We already got that chest before. It's just rupees. So if you want to grab it, there's extra rupees. But like I was saying, this playthrough is coming to an end very, very soon, which is, which is just crazy. It just seems crazy to me. But what we want to now do is actually make our way over here. Come here, rooster. Actually, is this the path we want to go into? Let me check this little hole in the rock here. What we got here? What we got? Is this the place we want to go? I don't think... No, we don't want to go here. We were here before. That is not the way we want to go. Let's head back here, Mr. Rooster. We want to keep heading down left. Or no, right. Down this way, past the waterfall. And then over here to these waterfalls. And as you can tell, our sensor's gonna go off. We're gonna grab that seashell in just a second. You guys might have saw it, but we will grab it on the path back. We got these fools. Oh no, I thought I had my boomerang out. <laughs> no, we don't want to fast travel anywhere. Get out of here. Gotta pull out my boomerang. What you want? Get out of here. <laughs> That's why we want the boomerang. But this is actually the cave that we want to make our way into because this is where we can obtain the key for the next dungeons. So if we make our way down here, we got this cool little mechanic. Pick up Mr. Rooster right here. You can lift him up and you start flying. He just starts flying and carrying you. So you can now make your way all the way over here and then throw him here. He'll come back to you. Lift him up again and fly all the way around this path. Look how cool this is. And look what's just chilling here. The next key for the next dungeon. Let's go. Thank you, Mr. Rooster. You are the man. You got the bird key. Let's go. We got the bird key from this type of bird, this rooster. But he comes in handy so much. Look at him. <laughs> he just flies you around and all that. It's so cool. I love this little mechanic in the game. <laughs> Pick him up again. Take me home. Let's go. Take us back. Could you imagine if we had him through the whole game just flying around everywhere? That'd be so funny. But that's kind of all that we need him for. Just to fly around that to get the key. So he's just going to chill with us and be our little companion for this trip. We're going to start slapping on these fools right here. What you want, fool? He's jumping up in here. Hey, yo, get out of here. Get out of here. But if we make our way over here, our sensor is going to go off. And we're actually going to bring out our bombs. Because if you look down here, we got this little hole over here. And if you throw a bomb in there, it will explode. And out comes the seashell. Let's get it, baby. Let's go. So we're going to pull out our boomerang once again. Because we're going to need that. Are we going to need it? No, we're not going to really need it. But it's just... This is a nice item to have out, kind of like the uh, the Rock's Feather. Like, we don't need Rock's Feather, but it's nice to have out, you know? Let's go. We'll keep hopping around here. Make our way over here. We're going to lift this. The seashell sensor is going to go off once again. We're going to lift all these rocks. Hey, get out of here. But once you lift this rock in this corner, we will find another seashell, which is just awesome. Let's go. Let's go. Get out of my face, fool. What you want? What's over here? We got anything over here? Nope. It just shows us a different part of the area, but these little bugs are annoying. Rooster, move! Let's go. Let's get out of here. We're going to make our way back here. Keep running this way. Doing a Pegasus boot long jump. Stabbing on these fools. And hitting our head there. Rooster, he's picking up the slack. It's okay, though. We'll meet him over here. Look at him. <laughs> he's not even with us. He can't keep up. Did we lose him? Do we have to go get him again? That punk got stuck there? Are you serious? That hunk of junk. Get over here, buddy. You know, we're going to have to carry you. This way. Come on. <laughs> He's holding this up. <laughs> I don't think we need him, but we're just going to bring him here just in case. But like I said, the, sea the seashell sensor went off. And if you look in this waterfall, we can actually dive down and pick up this seashell right here. which is just chilling under the water. So let's get it. Let's get it. Look at the rooster, dude. He's just chilling. But we can now... Oh, now he's flying over the water. But we can now make our way into this cave and the seashell sensor went off again. Which means there's another seashell around. What you want, bats? What you want? As you can tell, cracked wall. You guys know the drill. Drop a bomb. And then we can make our way out. Oh, we got these piranhas. Oh, the bomb got the piranha. Nice. <laughs> Get out of here, piranhas. What you fools want? But this actually unlocks a secret little room with a nice little secret path to go up on. We can run this way. So yee, yee, yee. And we're actually going to grab, I think it's this chest with the, with the stuff in it, with the goodies. No, there's no goodies in that one. I believe one of these chests have rupees in it. But actually, did we just screw ourselves over? I think we did. I think we did. We're going to reset this right here. So we can actually got to figure out how to get through this. I think we're going to just... No, are we going to push that one? Hmm. Hmm. Let's push. Let's push this one. 
Let's push. Oh, no, 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 no. We messed up again, didn't we? No! <laughs> All right, let's head back here. Let's focus in here. Come on, Jeans. You got this. We're going to push this one. We're going to push this center one. No, we're not going to push this center one. How are we going to go through this? We're going to push this one out the way. And then we're going to push this one out the way. There we go. Making our path. Dang, it took us long enough, you know? We're going to make our path over here. And... This will actually lead us outside here where that secret seashell rang. And if you open up this chest, you know what's inside it. Another seashell. We are actually, I think we're at 40 some now. We can actually get probably the best seashell item there. Which we will actually get, get in this episode. I can't wait to show you guys. It is such a cool upgrade to what we have already. But we're actually going to start making our way back out here. How are we going to, how do we do this? Just going to push this up. Yeah, push this one up and push this one back. But if you grab all those chests, the last one will actually have rupees in it. So it's really not worth it for us. We kind of been spending up all, all of our rupees and all that. But we're going to hop down here. Dodge these piranhas. Come on, Mr. Rooster. You're with us, buddy. Look at him. He's so funny. We got all these bugs over here. Get out of here. Throw this rock at him. What you want, bats? What you want, fools? <laughs> let's go. Let's go. So now that we make our way here, we're going to... Check this little owl. It says, you are near the eagle's tower. Beware of the bird. All right. We'll beware of the bird. We're just going to climb up here. Yo, what you want? <laughs> I want to pull back out my... No, we're going to bring out the shovel. I think we're going to... Yeah, we're going to need the shovel in just a bit in order to unlock something that will actually come in handy for us. But we're going to come over here. Make a run this way. Pick up this piece of power as it doesn't really do much to us considering our attack is already doubled. But it will actually bring up our speed, which is nice. <gasps> it was punk bats no <laughs> i thought i hit the hot button there we go come on rooster you can fly over that whoop on these bats that were murking me earlier make our way through this little door not door little cave opening but once we make our way through here anything down here nope we're gonna make our way to the other side right her and then go down this little secret path let's go dude we are almost there we are almost up the mountain use rock's feather to hop over whoop on these wolves. oh my god dude that sound is so satisfying it's like <laughs> that cracks me up Yo, what you want? Yo, we hit him to the other side That's crazy Bring out our hook shot Get across here Come on, Mr. Rooster Then hop down here Yee. Make our way over here Now I think we need the shovel Come on, show me the shovel Yes, we do need the shovel Because as you guys can see Right there, we got this little smoky area We're going to dig it up right there And it's going to make a new fast travel point for us we're actually going to stand on it. Now we want to head back to the Seashell Mansion. Like I was saying, we're going to obtain an upgrade for an item we already have. Woo! I love this. I love this. Let's go. This item's so cool. Oh my god, I never noticed. Look at these trees right here. They look like Octoroks. Oh, we can talk to them. Well, that was a surprise. Hey, I'll tell you a secret. Use the sword to poke at the dungeon walls. If you hear a hollow clank, you can break through the wall with the bomb. What? They give us cool little hints. Well, that was a surprise. Hey, I'll tell you a secret. If you see a weird bowl all by itself in the middle of a cave, sprinkle some magic powder into it. A weird bowl. It's a pretty good joke on the thing that lives in there. Oh. Ooh, I think that's a hint to the little devil. But we're actually going to make our way into the seashell mansion and get the next upgrade for it, which is the best one. The next one after this kind of is just like a nice little reward. But this is the best reward. We are almost completed all the secret seashells. This is Razor Sword Overhead. I shall grant you new power. So we are going to upgrade our regular sword into a better sword that we have now obtained. The Koholint Sword. Let's go. You should put your name on it right away, it says, considering we lost the first sword. <laughs> but this sword is awesome. I believe when you have, it's like equivalent to the Master Sword. But when you have full hearts, I believe you can shoot like light beams out of it, which is cool. Do we have any hearts over here? What did we get? Okay, we got one. I hope I can show it to you guys in a little bit. But we're going to make our way back up to the Eastern Taltown Mountains. Back up to the last tower, or not last tower, last dungeon that we're going to be taking on. There actually might be one more dungeon after, but we're looking to get stacked up on hearts. Because hopefully I can show, you, show it to you guys. Because it's like the master sword for this game. It's a stronger sword. Show me some hearts. We need them. <laughs> How many do we need? Three? Get out of here. What you fools want? What you want, bats? What you want? Get away from me. Oh, no, no, no. We got the bird. <gasps> Ooh, a heart. I want it. Get out of here. Drop a heart. Ah! Leave me alone. Lift him. Smack him. Oh, no. None of them dropped the heart. But we need a heart and a half. I'm hoping we can get it here, but come on. Drop something. An acorn. I don't want your acorn, dude. I want heart. Ah! No, he hit me. You punk. Okay, now we need two hearts. Maybe we can dig around. Ooh! Look, we've done 
got a heart. Come on, show me one more heart. Come on, let's keep digging, guys. Let's keep digging. There we go. Look at that. Like I said, we now shoot laser beams out when we have full hearts. So this is kind of like the Master Sword. Look at that. That is awesome. That is so cool, everybody. But now we can actually grab this key and actually use it on this dungeon. Let's go. This is the eagle key or the bird key that we we're using. And it unlocks this dungeon. This dungeon looks so cool. I'm actually so excited for it. Hope everybody's ready for the next episode where we will be taking this on. Let's get it. Let's go. Look how cool it looks. It's just a sky tower. Like, come on. That is so cool. And we got my boy, the rooster right here. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. As in the next episode, we're going to be taking on the next dungeon, which is the Eagle Tower. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.